Have you ever wondered if a piece of fabric could stop a speeding bullet? Not heavy metal or a bulky shield, but something so light you could fold it in your hands. That fabric exists, and it's called Kevlar. This remarkable material has saved millions of lives, from soldiers and police officers to everyday people caught in danger. But what exactly is Kevlar? Why is it stronger than steel despite feeling like ordinary cloth? Today we're diving into its fascinating history that makes it nearly indestructible and how it became the foundation of modern body armor right here on History of Simple Things. The story of Kevlar began in 1965 at a DuPont laboratory in Wilmington, Delaware where chemist Stephanie Kwolek, while searching for a lightweight fiber to reinforce car tires and improve fuel efficiency, stumbled upon a strange, cloudy liquid most would have discarded. When spun into fibers, it proved astonishingly strong, five times stronger than steel by weight, yet incredibly light. This unexpected discovery would soon move beyond tires, becoming a revolutionary material that would go on to save countless lives. Kevlar is a type of aramid fiber, which means it's made of long chains of molecules aligned in a way that gives it extraordinary strength. At a microscopic level, Kevlar's molecules are tightly packed and hydrogen bonded, forming something like molecular chains stacked in parallel. Despite being called fabric, Kevlar doesn't behave like cotton or wool. It doesn't melt, it resists heat, and it doesn't stretch much. Imagine a spiderweb spun out of crystal, flexible yet unbelievably strong. In fact, pound for pound, Kevlar is about five times stronger than steel. When a bullet strikes a Kevlar vest, something fascinating happens. Instead of penetrating through, the bullet's energy spreads across the woven fibers. The tightly woven layers of Kevlar act like a net, catching and dispersing the force. Think of it as jumping onto a trampoline. The fabric stretches slightly, absorbs the energy, and springs back. This doesn't mean wearing Kevlar feels like nothing happened. The impact can still bruise or even break ribs. But crucially, the bullet doesn't penetrate vital organs. That split-second energy distribution is what saves lives. After its invention, Kevlar was first used in racing tires, replacing steel belts and reducing weight without sacrificing durability. But its potential for safety gear soon became obvious. By the 1970s, police departments were experimenting with Kevlar for bulletproof vests, a game-changer for law enforcement. Before Kevlar, body armor was heavy, often made of steel plates or thick ballistic nylon. Kevlar changed everything. A vest could now weigh under 5 pounds, be flexible enough to move in, and still stop most handgun rounds. Kevlar's strength and heat resistance make it useful far beyond body armor. It's found in helmets, protective clothing, ropes, cables, and even sports gear like sails and tires. Wherever lightweight durability is needed, Kevlar is the go-to material. So why is Kevlar stronger than steel? It comes down to chemistry and structure. Kevlar's molecules are made of polyparaphenylene terephthalamide, a mouthful I know, which naturally arranges itself in parallel lines. This alignment allows hydrogen bonds to form between chains, locking them together like an incredibly dense lattice. When force is applied, say, by a bullet, 
the energy spreads along these bonds rather than breaking them. Steel, by comparison, might bend or deform, but Kevlar absorbs and disperses force far more efficiently for its weight. Kevlar is incredibly heat-resistant. It can withstand temperatures up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 427 degrees Celsius, without melting. Kevlar production starts with polycondensation to form strong polymer chains, which are spun into fibers through tiny spinnerets. These fibers are stretched for added strength, wound into threads, and woven or layered into ballistic panels for armor and protective gear. Kevlar body armor uses layered fabric, sometimes with ceramic or metal plates, to protect against bullets. Rated from level 2 to 4 by the National Institute of Justice, it ranges from handgun to rifle protection. While tough, it can be penetrated by armor-piercing rounds or repeated hits, and UV exposure weakens it over time, hence the expiration dates. Beyond the science and engineering, Kevlar's true legacy is measured in lives saved. Since its introduction in the 1970s, tens of thousands of police officers and soldiers have walked away from gunfights and explosions because of Kevlar. Every crease in a Kevlar vest tells a story of someone who made it home safe, proof that the most heroic inventions often work quietly in the background. Today, Kevlar continues to evolve, with newer versions like Kevlar XP and K29 offering greater strength-to-weight ratios. So next time you hear the phrase, tougher than steel, you'll know. It's not just a saying, it's Kevlar. From a laboratory accident to a life-saving invention, Kevlar's journey is nothing short of remarkable. It redefined what fabric could do, proving that protection doesn't have to come from heavy metal plates. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.